Today on Connected Cooking, we are here with my friend, Ross Hamilton, co-founder of Kingdom Cavalry, and we are going to be in the back gardening, learning how to save money by gardening with our herbs and our vegetables. In the meantime, roll it, Brad. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you so much for watching. Hey, listen, if you like what you're seeing, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. So, Ross, tell us what we have here. Thank you for inviting me over here, coming through, Rashawn. Definitely, here definitely. Is my herb garden. So what you're looking at is a collection of the herbs that I've been growing. Uh, I have lemon balm over here. Nice. You just rub it. You can just smell it. All right, smells good, right? Yeah. Yep, so I love yeah. to put that into tea, a uh, variety of things um, over here. Sticking, sticking with tea. I have my peppermint, which is wild. My awesome. Wild peppermint. Awesome. Uh, strawberry in the four area, four corner areas. I did that for my kids. Yeah. And they're just on the way out, but it's been giving me a lot of strawberries throughout the season. Uh, uh, next I season, have, I have to make sure I definitely come over and uh, absolutely. take some of these absolutely. strawberries off your hands. You <laughs> uh, in the middle right here, you have basil. Nice, awesome. And okay. um, you know, it's really good to smell throughout the day. And that's for anything you want to put in your cooking. Okay. Over here, you can see some of the uh, eggplant are forming. Mm -hmm. I have two eggplants, rosemary, uh, wild oregano, which I put in. And what else do I have here? Lavender, which is great for papori. Uh, I dry it out, smells up the room great. And yes, yeah, so those are a collection of things I have in my what I call my herb garden. This is absolutely awesome. So tell me what inspired you to begin to grow a garden in your backyard. Good question. When I was a young kid, up in, I uh, grew up in Queens, but raised mm -hmm. in New Rochelle, New York. My dad used to always grow tomatoes. He used to be out there throughout the weekend putting in tomatoes. And I used to watch him, and I'm like, yeah, it looks boring. Why is he doing that? <laughs> but it tasted good. Uh, but um, I didn't start growing until I started teaching. Once I moved over here and I started teaching, that's a very high stressful job. Mm -hmm. And I needed a way to self care. Oh, so that's awesome. The first thing I started doing was picking up some of the things I saw when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And one thing led to another. I started off with this. And then it just bloomed into the other gardens that you may see. we're going to see a little bit later on. Awesome. Great. I'm looking yeah. forward to actually seeing what else you have oh, in yeah, this backyard. So definitely. we're going to check that out That's shortly. Cool. That's great. All right. So in the meantime, let's head over to one of those gardens and uh, see what else you have. All right. All right, Ross. So I know exactly what's in this. This, this is ginger, isn't it? You got it. And got this it. is our tomatoes? You got it. All right. What else you do we have in this garden? You're learning. Yeah. Right over here we have uh, zucchini. Awesome. Three zucchini plants. And over here you have some baby eggplants. I love the, like I said, I love the eggplant. And then over here, uh, let me tell you something. I have a bag of beans in the in the cabinet mm -hmm. and they spilled over. Black eyed peas. And I saw two of them in the back of the cabinet. I literally said, you know, let me give it a try, Rashawn. I put the two beans in there last week and it's already Oh wow. Cooked. That is being very resourceful. You talk about Absolutely. saving money. Absolutely. That's a good way to save money and use what you already have, right? Yeah. So listen, speaking of, that sounds like a gardening tip to me. For those viewers who may be out there and say, you know what, I love this, I wanna get started as soon as I'm done watching this episode, what tips would you have for them? Do it, do it. Put the television off, turn it off, put the video games away, just get out there and enjoy life, enjoy the element, and you'll be surprised what can be created from it. Yeah. So my advice would be start small. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't, if you don't have a large garden, don't overwhelm yourself, start off with a small pot. Uh, probably grow tomatoes. Okay. Just make sure you have a large enough pot. Um, it's like your standard. Um, and that's a popular green. vegetable, so yeah, that, that'd be easy. good. You just water it and green peppers. But ultimately, my next tip is find out what you use in the, in, in the kitchen, right? If you don't use zucchini, you don't want to just have a whole bunch of zucchini <laughs> in there, right? My wife gets on me like, yeah, that'll be counterproductive. You know, right? You don't like hot stuff. Don't grow, you know, don't grow hot peppers. <laughs> so find out what you love to eat. Start okay. off with the herbs. The herbs are really easy to grow. They don't need that much care. And before you know it, you're gonna start trying something awesome. new every 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 summer, every awesome. spring. So just do it. Just do it. And start small. Start small. In the meantime, we're gonna head into the kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to make my infamous turkey burger. I can't uh, wait. Good. 
All right, guys, welcome back. We are inside from the garden, and that was a great experience. Thank you so I much, Ross. Anytime, anytime, for sure. We are going to make my famous turkey burgers infused with some of those fresh herbs and vegetables right from Ross's garden. There you go. So I'm super, super excited about this. We had the setup, so I'm going to get started a little bit, tell you guys kind of where we are, uh, and then we're going to move on from there. So just to let you guys know, this is our pre-prepped turkey, ground turkey, all right? You can use 85-15, I'm really a 93-7 guy, or you can get the ground chicken breast if you really want to be fancy. But when we're talking about shopping on a budget, 85-15, this is two pounds of turkey, and we got it on sale at ShopRite, 489. So this is definitely something you want to look at. We have our, our breadcrumbs, we have a little egg to keep it together, a little Worcestershire sauce, a little ketchup. But my favorite part, is that we're getting ready to feature your garden, right? So guys, I want you to be able to see this here. This is uh, some of our herbs from Ross's garden that we talked about, right? So here's the fresh basil, which I'm super, super excited about cutting and get it in. And then we have our oregano in full form. So, you know, I'm, I'm excited about this and a little bit of our, our rosemary that's really going to get some kick to that turkey burger, so. It smells so good, I can smell it already. Yes, yes, Great. yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's pumping up the room. It is. But it while is. I get this stuff into this batter, okay. uh, Ross, why don't you tell us, tell uh, the viewers out there, right. what got you started with Kingdom Calvary? What was your inspiration? Right. And right. how has it gone so far? Well, thank you, first of all, for having me here and showcasing these, this thing. And Definitely. Great job with Connected. But, you know, God is good. And so just God opened things up to you when you truly believe. Mm -hmm. And so about two years ago, my wife came up with this idea. She was saying, look, we're believers, but we need to encourage believers to not be ashamed of showing who they are. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you don't know what a Christian may look like, mm -hmm. right? They you know, what Muslim may look like they wear some of the garb and what have you. But as far as a Christian, you know, if you don't know that person, you know, we want them to kind of find a way to have connected with other Christians. Mm -hmm. So she said, ah, connected, connected, connected. You know, connected. <laughs> so she said, hey, you know what? We're all a part of the kingdom. And let's come up with different sayings that connect everybody to the kingdom. Yes. So some of the things that we had is kingdom Calvary, mm -hmm. uh, kingdom power, kingdom living. Uh, you know, I know one thing that I got right away. Yes. Was that kingdom covered, kingdom umbrella. covered, and the umbrellas are covered. Yes. We're all covered. Yes. So uh, it's funny, but a couple of years ago I was in Detroit and I wore um, kingdom covered mm -hmm. shirt. And one of the random persons came up to me and was like, wow, I love that shirt. Uh, you know, I'm a Christian as well. Mm -hmm. And so it opened up a conversation. And then even sometimes, uh, I wear it sometimes at a staff meeting. And some people would see it and they'd be like, wow, I like your shirt where it is, what it's about. And I'm able to kind of open up and have a conversation mm -hmm. about how I'm connected mm -hmm. and just what God has done. So my wife came up with the concept, got to awesome. give, give, give respect to That's her. Awesome. And we said, let's move forward with it. So we do have a website, kingdomcalvary.com. Yes. And, uh, you know, go on there and, and see which one connects to you because it's all about connecting. And, um, yes, yeah, it's been a true blessing. Definitely. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. So, guys, here's the lesson here. First of all, Take the first step. Absolutely. Get started, right? We Absolutely. talked about that earlier. Absolutely. Just get started. But right. believe in yourself, believe in your passion, and also believe in your partner, right? Absolutely. Because without Ross believing in his partner, believing in his wife, right. they would not be where they are today right. with Kingdom Calvary. And I know Kingdom Calvary has been a blessing for me. Yes. And it's been a blessing for many around us. Yes. And even people that we don't know. It's just about giving back. It's yeah. just like with the food and just like what you're doing right now. Somebody who's learning how to cook is going to see what you're doing. Yes. Give back. <laughs> so it's all about giving back to what God has blessed me with and our family with. And we just want to spread the word. Yeah. It's all about spreading the word. And through that, we're going to help save somebody. That's awesome. So it's giving inspiration is what we're That's about. awesome. That's great, man. So listen, guys, we are going to finish up here. We're going to get yeah. those fresh herbs in this thing going on. We're going to go ahead and grind this fresh ginger, these green peppers. We're going to get it on the stove, start that cooking, and then we'll be back with the plating. See you guys soon.
All right, Ralph. So it was fun showing you about my favorite, my favorite meal to make, which yes. is my infamous turkey burger. Yes. So what do you think so far? Man, it looks delicious. Awesome, I've never awesome. Seen a turkey burger this thick. <laughs> it's made, so I learned some good things. Yeah, I told you the today, secret of that. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. You gotta give us some I love, feel bad. man. It's like what I've been eating all these years. You know? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it looks delicious. Yeah, man. So let's get these things plated. Okay. Uh, this is, this is what it seems like the viewer's favorite part. Okay. Right, because. There's always fun yeah. in plating. The food. By the way, guys, sweet Hawaiian rolls. Wow, sweet yeah. Hawaiian everything for me. The dinner rolls, the hamburger rolls, the hot dog rolls. Right, right. Now, uh, I know that we talk about finance on Connected Cooking, so I'm going to forewarn you that this is a $4 bag of hamburger rolls. I don't suggest this. <laughs> All right, get the one ninety nine bag, but uh, but for me, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the four dollar. No, you can't go wrong with that. Sometimes you can splurge a little bit on the meal, yeah, right? right? So of course you take your bun. Now I'm gonna do it this way so you guys can see how we rock, right? So we take the bun. I'm gonna show you how we layer this, okay? So you take your burger here, right? Look at that. Y'all see that cheese? That I'm just. This, again? this is Swiss. Okay. So I just want y'all to see that cheese oozing, and we're just gonna go like this right so boom okay. you got your turkey burger if you guys know me you know i'm not a lettuce guy lettuce is just water spinach is going to give you that vitamin b that energy that you need and it's going to have the same cause that lettuce does so any any place where you put lettuce you can replace with spinach and you get a little bit more nutrients that way so again we have our spinach I'm have to grow that in the garden anymore. yes sir and we have our tomato. There we go. Boom. We got our, I, I love pickles. Pickles on chicken sandwiches, pickles on turkey burgers. Boom. Now, guys, I'm a barbecue guy. All right. My family is from South Carolina. Not me. I'm from Philly. But my family's from South Carolina. But this is Memphis original. Really good. So, uh, yeah, I'll play around with that. We're just going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on that burger. And uh, a little yeah, that up. <laughs> <laughs> there we have it, guys. This is our uh, wow. turkey burger infused wow. with the fresh herbs and vegetables yes, from Ross's Garden. Awesome, man. Delicious. This was fun. We're gonna wrap this up with a little kale salad. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, keep your head up, believe in yourself, and remember, you are only one opportunity away from achieving your wildest dreams. Talk to you soon. We hope you enjoyed today's show. If you're looking for the recipe to today's meal, make sure you click the link right in the description or go to our website, www.experienceshawn.com and grab the cookbook today. It is jam-packed with multiple recipes, including bonus features. So go ahead and get yours. Click that link in the description and we'll see you on the next episode of Connected Cooking. Talk to you soon. Delicious. Mmm, that's good. Yes, indeed. Connected. Stay connected with Rashawn. <laughs> Sounds good. Get nice. that ebook. All right, Ross, so we're here at, at the next garden. Tell me a little yeah. bit about what we have in here. Wow, man, this is, uh, I love this one particular garden. So like I said, my wife gave me the blessing uh -huh. so I can expand it, and I did. <laughs> you have to ask the wife first. But right here, you have rows over here. You have rows of um, green peppers, okay. sweet peppers, some in this. Okay. At the end, you have another eggplant. I love the eggplant, so I put it in wherever I want to fit it in. Uh, this is a row of green beans. Awesome. Yes. Right here. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, right there. Great, great, great. And there you, right next to it, you have cow peas, or what we call, we know it as black eyed peas. Yes, sir. So the black eyed peas are right over there, and last but not least, I know it's your favorite. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yep. And to me, it's the most healthy, it's the healthiest greenery plant. It is. It is. It is. You can, you know, apply it anywhere. But yeah, and I grew all these things from seed. Everything that you're looking at awesome. here, I didn't, you know, buy from Home Depot, Lowe's. Uh, two years ago, I said, look, I'm not going to spend money buying it from a middle person. Let me yeah. cut that person out. And I learned how to grow everything from seeds. So everything that you're looking at, 
what's wrong in my business. Sometimes. That's great. Speaking of not spending an extravagant amount of money, right. this garden has herbs and vegetables right. that everybody has in their household. How has growing your garden as a whole yeah. affected or positively affected right. your food bill? Once you grow, you'll never go back the same, right? <laughs> you go in the supermarket, you're like, I can't believe they're charging X amount of money for green peppers. Mm. That's insane. But you save a lot of money just from the produce alone. Um, whenever I want herbs, I don't have to buy like a four ninety nine jar. But I can just go in the backyard, pluck it, you know, dry it. Have it right there. So I save a ton of money. Wow. Uh, you also, you know, Rashawn, also, I, I kind of build off of this. Like I said, I always go back to the spiritual with everything mm -hmm. I'm doing. Because when I'm out here, you know, I'm a religious person. You know, God leads me, God mm -hmm. speaks to me. You know, you plant a seed, it'll grow, mm -hmm. and it'll multiply. Mm -hmm. So I also save a lot of money just on my, my, my physical health. Yeah because it's pushing me to eat better. Mm -hmm. And so I don't have to go to the doctor to take all your medicine. Once you start building a diet, that'll help you along. And so. you're building natural home remedies for Absolutely. some other things, right? Like the, the lemon balm and the mint Correct. that you have in the herb a, garden. Right, I'm not a coffee drinker. Some people look at me like, <laughs> what is going on? But I don't drink coffee, I drink tea. I'm a tea, yeah. a tea drinker. So, yeah. you know, I grow my own peppermint tea, yeah. lemon balm tea, which helps so many ailments. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to spend money on getting like Pepto Bismol or anything like mm -hmm. that, you just get your lemon balm. Yeah. And it'll do the same thing. That's what our ancestors did back in the day. Very important. Instead of doing all these pills very and stuff important. like that. But so I want, I, want I, I want to make sure we cover a couple of things because sure. Ross, you hit on some very important points that I typically love to discuss, especially with your viewers that are watching. One, self-care. This garden is helping you with self-care. It's helping you spiritually, nice. mentally, and even physically because it's allowing you to be able to eat healthy. But on the financial side, now you have the ability to save a multitude of dollars because you're not spending $129 a pound on green peppers or $2.99 a pound on kale or even $2 or $1 on a can of oregano or lemon balm or lavender. So that's, that's great. That's great, guys. We're saving money. We're being spiritually healthy. And we have self-care. That's amazing, Ross. Just put it like this, Rashawn, just to add in on it. I do all these from seeds. So mm. I have a packet of these seeds. Little small little seeds, right? Uh, it cost me $1.99. Mm. And I would get like maybe 39 seeds in there. So these particular row of, of green peppers, I mean, came from maybe a few seeds. So what I would get at the supermarket Correct. was one pound. Correct. You're getting a full row of exactly. that will last you a whole season. Exactly. Amazing. Beyond that too. Amazing. Beyond now that. that is financial freedom right there, guys. 